Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill, got another video for you today. And this one we're taking a look at the newly released Sunstone Fortress Layer. Uh, this is a part of the Superman Day celebrations in DC Universe Online, and you can purchase it on the marketplace for $20 or, or 1800 daybreak cash with a membership. Uh, so this video is going to be broken up into a few different sections. The first part, I'll show off the layer and the amenities. Then we'll go into the henchman testing, and then we'll go back to the uh, new base items that are part of the uh, deco pack. So in terms of the layer here, it is a brand new design. Uh, so as you enter it here, uh, the amenity sections I already have listed. So let's say, for example, this is what the sparring target will look like in the base. You'll see, uh, um, I guess he's like, a, you know, Krypton guard, etc. This is what the teleporter will look like. We have the uh, first base amenity. There's the base generator, which will be the sunstone and then the actual layer dispenser. And that's the uh, generator there. This is what the armories will look like. Then we go into the side room here on the left. This will be the bank. And then the broker, which is kind of like a sunstone display. And then we do have a display window here. Looking at some sunstone. As we proceed into the next main room. We have the mail. We have the R&D station. We have respec. Would actually be nice if they do more base items, kind of like this display. We have an open area room. You can't uh, unfortunately fly or go past the fence. You can stand on the fence and uh, go off to this little side area as well. But we'll do kind of a final um, walkthrough as well once I've shown all the amenities. So we can kind of see out here. Obviously, those uh, those cliffs aren't the best rendered, but uh, you know we can only ask so much. Here we got the nice uh, sunstone view. Here we have the R&D station and a soda or bender. And then we have another one kind of like a frosted glass view, distorted of uh, more ice. So we'll kind of go through, walk through here. So this will be the main entrance. We have the first room here at the left, we have this one. Then we go into the main room here, which has a bottom and a top, an outside view. Then we're going to go upstairs here. We have uh, kind of buried ice below there, as well as sunstone effect with clouds up top. Then we can kind of go through the main entrance as well, and for this little side room. In terms of where you can place the amenities, if we go into the uh, base decorator, you'll see this one here. There's two in the main room besides that. We've got two more in here on the side room. We have three spots here in this main room. Up top, there's two that you cannot put any um, you know, layer amenities on the outside or on the side room. That gives you an idea of where you can actually place any kind of base items on the ceiling. Nothing can go in the center here as well. Or as an actual spot, like a regular one, you could probably could. So the other part when you purchase this is that you do get, if you open up your granted menu, you'll see open item granted menu, the Sunstone Fortress Decor Pack. Which along with it, you got this, this was free included with the uh, layer itself. Sunstone Throne. Lamps, chandeliers, and Kryptonian statues. So in terms of where this is going to be in the video, I'll link that in the description as well. It'll just be, well, we'll do the henchman first, then we'll go back into decorating and showing what these base items look like.
Okay, so for the henchmen, obviously nothing to write home about, uh, which is kind of per usual with the new henchmen coming out. So the fortress base henchmen, bottom tier. This was, uh, to be aware, this is tested at CR3, uh, 414, uh, just because I covered it in a previous video where there's no sense of doing it, updating it uh, to new CR because it would take a very, very long time. It's like more than like 24 hours straight going to testing all the pets each time new CR increases. So just not worth it doing it. So this is at 414. So obviously the damage you would see would be a little bit higher on a live server, but everything would be still comparable. So it's the, basically the, the, uh, the 10th worst henchman for single target. 312k it's, it's uh two as you saw in the clip two are hand blaster based uh, one is staff based um pretty much spamming like pulse beam there was a uh, uh, avalanche some of the staff combos as well so it's, it's just not low base damage as well as the attacks they do just have like lower damage value so compared to you know lex uh, so beware here this is still um not so much bugged but there is a defense debuff that goes into it that's randomly applied that you can't see in game that's why those, those numbers are so much higher than everything else it is an rng aspect as well because that damage debuff doesn't always apply but certainly you know your water golems freeze golems nature henchmen even the layer henchmen uh are all uh comparable as well just aside that obviously LexCorp is the outlier. And if we go into AoE, uh, henchman AoE, same thing, middle of the pack. It's, it's the same as the Doctor's henchman or the Eastern layer, pretty much the exact same as like the Riddler goons or, or Shadow Werewolves, all comparable. Still nowhere near like uh, Trench, because the Trench and Cersei BC Morphs, because they're hand blasters. Um, still nowhere near the uh, Water Golems, and obviously the outlier being the, the Security Robots henchman. So it's more for looks. If you like the looks of the, the the Sunstone Domineer, I believe they're called Domineers, and then just that Kryptonian Guard, then all, by all means. But certainly you're giving up, you know, to like anywhere from like two to 300K damage or more uh, by using it compared to some of the others. So let's get back into it and take a look at those new base items. Okay, so to take a look at the new base items that have come with the Fortress Layer, as well as you can purchase them additionally separately in the marketplace for 500 station cash or 450 daybreak cash, if you remember. We have the Sunstone Throne. We have the Sunstone Lamp, small on the left and large on the right. We have a three pack of the Sunstone Chandeliers. Smalls on the left, medium is here on the right. As you can see, it's floating as well. And then we have a large one that can go up on the ceiling. We do have a legacy of Krypton statue. We have the small one version here. This will be the large version of the Krypton legacy statue. There's also a league hall version of it as well. We have the Sunstone Fortress Key. We have the Sunstone Column or Crystal Column Light. This is the ceiling version. And then we have a floor version of the same one. And then finally, we have the Phantom Zone Projector. These are all uh, cannot trade, so they're even if you purchase the ones on the marketplace, they'd be account bound. So take care, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.